So, guys, yeah, we haven't made a video in exactly two weeks, has it? No, it's been a week. It's been a week. Been busy. It's been it's my grandma's week birthday weekend, so celebrated with her. We went we went to dinner with her, and then that happened. Shit, but um, it was a good time. We went to Cooper's Wine and like Barrel or something. Really good, really good place. Oh, damn! Really good place. We went with Ed and Maya. It was a really good place. Really good place. Um. The bread is amazing. The um, the the burgers are good. The fries are great. It's just all around, just amazing. That was my longest Russian play. Damn. And yes, we're going back to the original retro bowl. We haven't played in how God knows how long since Thanksgiving, which is a long ass time ago. How do you feel? Gonna be the last. Today's the last day of Black History Month. How do you feel? It's tough, man. It's tough. Damn. So I actually made this. It's the 1936 Bears helmet, the alternate that you guys know. We suck, though. We suck in alternates. Bears suck against the Vikings, but Bears are good, though. We're good against the Vikings, so we lose to them, but we, we're good. Bears are very, bears, bears, when the Bears are playing the Vikings, it's very winnable. Yeah, man. Score a field goal. Yeah, nice. Oh, it's my turn to receive the ball. Nice. Well, I was working out all day in gym. It was intense. It was like beans just popping out. Hate this, you know. Just hate when my phone goes and he starts going slow. This is why I can't trust you. Oh, so for, first, what we need to do is give it to the tight end, Cole Komet. So we got we got a lot of time. We have a lot of time to. Not bad. We haven't played in. I don't know. It's been a while. Like I don't remember the last team we played against. I remember I had one of those raids and not throw the ball incomplete. But um, I remember it was against. I don't actually. I don't remember. I don't even remember we were home or not. Damn, it's fourth down. It's an inch. He got it. Let's go. Touchdown. I see. I may am exhausted. Did I just miss? We really just punched the ball and missed the kick, but still got time. We got a lot of time to. Well, no, we got we got a lot of time now. Time is in good hands. Is it three minute quarters or two minute quarters? Yeah, two minutes. Okay. If you give us a whole fifteen minute quarter, it would be like hundreds of points a game. Touchdown. Let's go, boy. Wait, damn it, man. I was going to have to go for two, but no. Let's just leave it. That's actually not good. Do not throw a pick. Oh, my God, I hate you. Game over. Game over. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, shit. 
That actually got me nervous, bro. If you return for pick six, I would have... Speaking of the Vikings, since, since I, in honor, we're going to wear this. We're not getting you. We're going to wear that. I actually... Dude, my finger's stuck. I'm joking. It's not. Actually, it kind of was. It was for a sec. Bullet throw. Oh, bullet pass. One steal. All right. First play of the game is a stupid, worthless piece of shit throw. Nice. Second throw. Near and then completion. Third throw is a catch. Longest pass in the air. You need to go for deep passes, too. That's the thing the Bears struggle with, deep passes. I mean, our deep pass is okay. It's just our offense sucks. Our defense was not much better. Defense sucked, too. Defense actually does suck, man. I'm not even saying it. I'm not even just saying it just to be funny. Bears' defense suck now. That was almost a pick. But, yeah, on back on the Bears' season. See, team as defense as offense. Offense did get a little better, though. Offense, no, like, you got to admit, the Bears' offense did get better. It got better than last year, better than 2019. In 2020, the Bears' offense did some stuff. The Bears' 2020 offense, I feel, was way worse than this last year's offense. Last year was – last year wasn't bad. It, it – the passing – they said the passing was, like, 32nd or something. I said the Bears' run game is going to be good, and it is. Monty, Pier, um, Herbert. I don't know what they're going to do with Cohen. I don't know if they're going to keep him or not. I want the Bears to keep Cohen. I love Cohen. Shit, this happens every time, bro. But I don't know what's going to happen with Cohen. I don't know if he's going to leave or he's going to stay. Hopefully he stays, though. Cohen wanted to play last year, but Nagy didn't let him. He still want to rehabilitate for his knee, which I think his knee is fine. His knee is fine. I'm pretty sure he's fine. I don't think he needs any rehabilitation. He's good. Start to yoga, doing what he used to do before season yoga, eating better, working out more. Like, because he said before, after 2019, he didn't take care of himself like that. And... These last few years have been tough for Cohen, like tearing his ACL, not be able to play, his brother dying, Tyrell, like I love Cohen. I, I loved Cohen right when he after after twenty seventeen, I'm like Cohen is literally the best running back the Bears will ever have. I know he's small, but who cares? I don't care. Someone, 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 touchdown. If you, if you guys, if you, well, I started this channel way after the 2020 season. 2019, I was fine. 2020, no, 2019, my reaction to the season was cool. 2018, I was just a trash talker to the other teams. I said, Bears going to win. There's no doubt. Who's, how are you going to lose to them? And I thought 2018 was going to be better. I thought, you know, 2018 was going to be good. Well, I thought it was going to be the same. But then Khalil Mack, I was like, okay. They said he's he's really good. Which he better. He, I was hoping he was. He's really good. Damn, he just split the, the, between. Um, Mack was really good. We had Robinson. He was good for the first few years. Last year, I don't know what the hell happened. This Mooney dude is good. Peace. I don't even know what that said. But it was a good. He um Robinson was good last year. I don't know what happened to him. He literally got hurt and never played again. Well, he played, but he was just so inconsistent. I thought he was gonna be even more consistent than 2020. Oh my god.
I think we have a chance to uh, win. Oh my god, man! Our last chance, bro. Please. <laughs> I'm one and one. Literally third. I'm late in the hunt. How about Detroit? A Two, bro. Ball one, two, three. Now let me ask y'all this: When has there ever been a time where you've seen a football look like that? Like that makes no sense, man. I've never seen a ball like that. Like, that looks so stupid. I'm not even hating. It's just stupid. I don't... Oh, my God. I can't even explain myself. I don't know. So, let's talk about the whole shit that's going on. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys may know. Y'all may know or not. It's about that damn Ukraine. Holy shit, dude. What's going on, bro? Like, man, like, this ball already sucks. Like, Ukraine is going through a tough time. Like, literally, Ukrainians are crying for help. And the fact that Kim Jong-un, oh, my God. I suck at this game. I'm not kicking a field goal. I have to. But Kim Jong-un, knowing that Europe, no, like, Russia. You do, do you know how big Russia is? And then China's big? But not as big as Russia. And Ukraine is kind of big. It's kind of big. I don't know, but it's kind of big. Ukraine is kind of big. I don't know how big Ukraine is. I just know Russia and China. No, Japan. Whatever, China, Japan. They're both, both of them are big, actually. China and Japan are big. I think. But, dude. Kim Jong-un in China. That's 2 million people. On one side, invading one small place. I don't know what. I don't know what caused Putin to. What was that kick? You lucky he missed, bro. But like, I don't know, bro. And that's stuff like I don't get. Like. I don't know what caused. I don't know what caused Putin to do this. That's like. I don't. It's like something you don't. I don't know what's the full reason of this. Oh crap! Like I don't know if Ukraine, someone from Ukraine did something, 
I don't know if you, Putin is doing this for shit. I don't know what his problem is, but we're fucked. If and here's the thing, my mom said, if Putin ever or anybody try to invade U.S., if anybody tries to invade U.S., we're moving to Canada, and it will be way better to go to Canada than Mexico. No offense to the Mexicans that are watching this, but Canada, bro, I gotta. Go to Canada, because I, I know Canada. Well, I don't know shit about Can Canada, but I just know it's cold as fuck there. And it's like mountain stuff. Canadians have the language. But that means I might have to go know how to speak Canadian. I'm joking. I'm not Canadian. Whoa. I hate that ball. Why did I choose that ball? But... I don't know, man, like, the whole shit that's been going on is stupid. I think that, I'm not saying everything, every single thing is, every single, I'm really focusing on the fucking TV, you know? Chris Jericho really made a song. Big Time Rush, that song, the show sucked, actually. I'm not even just saying that for shit, I'm just actually saying it. The song actually really sucked. Alright, see. See, I'm not gonna rage. I'm too pissed to rage. I'm like way too. Well, not, I'm not pissed. I'm just I'm way too exhausted to rage, bro. Wait! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on, hold on. Damn it, man! I thought I called timeout! You. S Oh my god, I thought he punched. I thought he kicked. I'm like, you suck. I'm like, who? Falcons didn't. Falcons didn't choke any. I don't think the Falcons choked this year, surprisingly. Like, normally they would choke. Like, 20. Like, since Super Bowl 51, I thought the Fal I knew the Falcons were going to lose, but then it was 28 to 3. I'm like, because that's when I didn't know. Football. I knew what football was, but I didn't understand the full meaning. I thought Falcons are gonna win. How are they gonna let the Patriots come back? I get it's Tom Brady, but Tom Brady, I'm sorry, but you lost the Super Bowl. No, they lost, man. They actually lost. I don't know how they lost. Like Falcons had it. Then I remember another time they choked. It was twenty. Most of the twenty eight. No, twenty twenty. One of them was. Week th week two, they lost to Dallas. It was like 29-17 or something. I don't remember. They had a big-ass lead, and then they let the Cowboys come back and beat them by one. The onside kick. <laughs> no one got it. No one wants to. Nobody wants to get the ball. Stupid. Um. The um Falcons also did it against the Bears, which I'm playing right now. It's twenty. It was twenty-six to ten. Trubisky got benched because he was fucking ass, but Trubisky wasn't bad. Guys, here's the thing. Y'all y'all suckers think... Y'all think that Trubisky is ass. Like, y'all think that he's like this quarterback that no one wants to have. I think like, he would literally cost you guys games. He will not. I guarantee you, Trubisky, if you're saying Trubisky's ass, how come he led, he started two playoff games? How come he led the Bears to playoff games? And you guys may think this is stupid, but what I'm going to say, I think Trubisky's better than Cutler. I think he was better than Cutler. And then, literally, Trubisky literally had to um, destroy the Bears. Good. Correct. Didn't have 59% of fans last time. So now it's just all the way to that. This is our last game. You caught. It's either you're in a club or. It's either you're in a club or you're playing Retro Bowl on this phone during the meeting. Y'all are Retro Bowl characters. You're just. 
This is like real life shit, bro. The Lima. Nelly. You know, like Nelly. Um, the other girl, Kelly Rowland. Oh, I forget her name. But this is that, bro. I don't know. Hey, nigga, this is why I benched you in the first place. You suck. You dropped the ball. You dropped our play. We could have won a playoff game. We could have scored a game-winning touchdown, but you dropped it. Could have taken us to the division round. No, wild card. Crap. Find him, bro. That's why you ass, nigga. Changing the ball. Oh. Two more, two more. First time I... I was going to say, this is the first time I ever played the Chiefs, but no. Oh! Montgomery! Montgomery! Oh my god, please go. David. Why do they always run so slow? Like, when they're on a good lead, they start slowing down, and then literally they... They just literally just... Lou, they they start slowing down. I don't get that. Hopefully, I can make a video tomorrow on what idea to do. I know this song. Guys, you know the bad part about spring? Coming back. The bees. The bees. Some bees start to come back, and I hate bees. Hate spiders. I don't know if I did, but in the videos that, and I said, 10 thing that, things that terrify me, I don't know if I put bees in my video. If I didn't. Then you guys now know that I hate bees. They scare the shit out of me. But if you already, if I did, then yeah. Don't think about pranking me with this shit. Prank me with this shit. I swear these nuggles beat the shit out of you. I don't play around with spiders. I don't play around with bees. I know they say if they if you leave them alone, they won't mess with you. Oh my god, they fucking bees. You can't do shit about that. Bees, I know bees and spiders. You can kill them, but bees and spiders, you can kill them, but. But heights, you know my top three fears. Spiders, fear. Spiders, bees, heights. Yes, speeder, speeders. I hate those. Spiders and bees. I hate them. They're scary. If I'm more scared of spiders and bees. Because bees do leave you alone, but shit, bro. Have, have I ever gone stung by a bee? No, I've never gone stung by a bee, but I don't want to. My parents did. I feel like everyone in my parents, everyone in my family got some IV but me. God. You know what? Can y'all just jump? And I lost. He did miss the kick, though. Can't celebrate. Stop celebrating. Stop celebrating. Come on. Oh! Oh! Bad mistake, Mahomes. Mahomes, that was a bad mistake. Ah! Oh! Oh! I told you, bro. Ah! <laughs> that is not the longest rushing play. Stop. Now the Chiefs score in 35 seconds. 
You actually. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> I hate you guys so much. You know what, Mahomes? Yeah, there's a thing called redemption. Uh, I can't really. Okay, okay. I'm only doing this for the defense, bro. They. Fucking me, he can't even win! Shit! <laughs> Shit, shit, man. Shit. Wait, week five. I can. Wait, 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 wait. You s trade him. Okay. Now we need a <laughs> play. Okay. Now we need to um. Now we need a. Who's our quarterback? Okay, so it's both of us are two and two. Who's our quarterback? Who's our quarterback? A bunch of nobody. Oh, look at that! Bullet pass! This is the last game, I swear. If we lose, then I'm... I swear I'm, I'm, I'm two and three. Let's just end the fucking... End the video off, three and two. We play three games, let's just do that. We played two a blue, and the kicker miss. It's a kicker. Dude, damn! Quarterback's better than Gano. Ooh, ankles. Oh! No. Bitch, 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 bitch. Oh, he caught that shit. Man, he caught that. I'm going to try to die for a catch. Oh! 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 oh. I, was, uh, I actually did make a diving catch one time. Damn it, that was a yard. Touchdown! Bears! When was Retro Bowl? I don't. When was Retro Bowl made? I don't know. It's old, but I don't even think it's that old. <laughs> if they have a Retro Bowl video game like Madden, Retro Bowl Twenty Two, I will literally buy that game. Get rid of Madden. Just get Retro Bowl Twenty Two. I'll keep Madden, but. Retro Bowl 22, video game wise, have actual announcers, have the crowd. Oh! That was the diving catch I wanted to show you! But he already did! And I look like I have a touchdown, then shit like this happens, so I don't even care. 17 to 3, and a touchdown. 17 to 6. Break his his ankles. Oh! Oh! That was not a moan. That was not a moan. Shut the fuck up, please. You're a nigga for saying that. You're a negro. Is it third quarter? The third quarter ended that fast? Oh, yeah, because fucking Vegas took, a, took the entire... Took forever. I'm not... No, hell no. You just feel that shitty aim, boy. Just 
can I? Oh, peace, peace, touchdown, 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 you're not the real, oh my god, you're not Carol Santos, baby, you're not Carol Santos. Uh, let me see results. Any blowouts? Okay, Jacksonville got their ass whooped. Tied game for Niners. That explains it. Steelers won in a close game. No, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do with Fox NFL those game breaks. All right, I'm Michael Strahan. So first game we got Buffalo and Jacksonville. Josh Allen throwing some touchdowns. And it was a revenge game after they got after they lost nine to six to the, the Jaguars earlier in the season. Revenge blowing the Jaguars out forty four to seventeen. Next game we got the Miami Dolphins at the 49ers. That's high. Twenty seven twenty seven. Then we got the Pittsburgh Steelers winning in the late last second field goal to put the Steelers at three and two. Then we got the Jets and the Rams, Super reigning Super Bowl champion Rams. And the number number two overall, Zach Wilson, taking care of the Rams in their own stadium. Then we got the Broncos and the Ravens. Ravens also winning in the late last second field goal, and they will come on to win 39-37 against the Broncos. Cleveland, Kansas City, 20-point game. Patrick Mahomes, 24 points to an ASC North defender team again. Then we got the Colts and the Texans. Colts obviously won because the Houston Texans are a franchise that are mean no shit to them. To their ass. Then we got the Titans and the Chargers. Titans putting 50 points on the Chargers. Wait, what? How is that possible? How is that possible? Rams and Chargers at the same stadium. That, that can't, that, what? That can't be possible. I can see if the Chargers are on the road, but they're not. What the fuck? How are the Chargers and the Rams in the same? Because the Rams are the Rams and Jets, Chargers and Ra Chargers and Titans. What? Unless they had those. Whatever, man. Then we got the Seahawks and the Cowboys. There, it was a late game. Joe Buck having one of his favorite games. Seahawks sadly trail. Seahawks had the lead, nineteen to. 16, a minute left, minute 47 seconds left. Dak Prescott driving down the field. Cowboys win. Washington, the Commanders, first game with Commanders, taking on their bitter rivals, the Eagles. They defeated the Eagles by a score of 27-13. Giants and Cardinals, the Giants, Daniel Jones, last second touchdown, pulling off a win. Then we got the Bears and the Raiders. Bears going on top, scoring so many points. This was Justin Fields' first game back. Looking sharp as ever. As the Bears went 23-13 to, to go to 3-2. and two. Then we got the Packers and Bengals. Pack, both Super Bowl contenders lost. And the Green Bay Packers, Aaron Rodgers, you know, Jordan Love, who are still Packers fans, are still here. If Rodgers is going to retire or go to a new team. 46-35, to 35, Green Bay comes on top on the road. In the Motor City, we got the Lions and the Vikings. The Vikings coming up on top by eight. Wait, is it eight? I'm with the Lions. No, wait, nine. By nine points against the Lions. Falcons and the Saints. Sunday night football, we got them. The, the Falcons coming on top. Panth Saints score late, trying to onside kick. That didn't work. Falcons take a knee. Game over. Monday night football, we had the Carolina Panthers loot. Coming up on top against the Tom Brady list Buccaneers. Now, if we look at the NFC standings, Tampa Bay is four and one. Let me look at every team's record. The Eagles are zero in fucking five. The Eagles are zero in fucking five. The Eagles. The Saints too. This generation's ass. This generation's ass, bro. 
I would not be surprised if the Jets had one win. Where's the Jets? Three and two. Miami's 0 4 and 1. Count them 0 and 5. Cleveland is 0 and. F- no, Cleveland's 5 and 0. No. And that will never happen. Cincinnati's 1 and 4. That will never happen. Well, if it was last year, the last, the last few years, I'm so. 1 and 4 is fine. Texans 1 and 4. Te- te- Texans, Jaguars 1 and 4. That doesn't mean shit. J- Patriots 2 and 3. They can rebound. Jets 3 and 2. That will never happen. Could, but then fall apart at the end. Bills 3 and 2. That could happen. Never 4 and 1. Hell no. Chargers on five. Never, never God freezes hell no. Vegas two and three. Thank you very much. Chiefs three and two. That could that did that happen? Yeah, it can happen. Um, Denver four and one. Never hell. Titans five and zero. Oh. They were five and zero oh last year. So, Colts three and two. That's reasonable. Pittsburgh four and one. That's reasonable. Baltimore four and one. That's reasonable. Bengals one and four. Hell no. Pink. The Cleveland Browns five and zero. Oh, that would ever never ever fucking happen. Bengals one and four. No. NFC Sats. Dallas is three and two. That's paused. That's reasonable. Giants three and two. Never again. Washington's one and four. I guess two and three could work. Philly zero oh and five. I guess Minnesota four and one. Never in ch- chance. Hell, Bears. No. Packers three and two. That could happen. Bears three and two. That's easily reasonable. Lions two and three. I could say one and four. Rams four and one. That's two. That's just that's just so accurate. Arizona three and two. I guess Seattle three and two. I guess San Francisco three and two. Carolina four and one, hell no. Tampa Bay two and three, no. Atlanta one and four, that could possibly. Saints one and zero oh and five, no. So here's the. I think the toughest division is the NFC West, followed by the AFC North, but the Browns. Well, let's see. Last week, obviously the Chiefs beat me. What a bitch. Damn Saints. This is the standings for the playoffs. Obviously, one seed is the Titans, Cleveland, Denver, and then Buffalo, followed in the wild card by the Pittsburgh, by the Steelers, Baltimore, Indianapolis, Kansas City, New York, Vegas. Here's how I think this will end out. I'll say at the end of the season, Browns will be in. Titan, all four of those will probably be in. You know what? No, I feel like someone, one of those two AFC North teams will come and take over because the, they're not far behind from the Browns. Jets are going to fall out. Vegas is going to fall out. Kansas City will go up. Indy will stay. Tennessee will stay. Denver will go out. No offense. And Buffalo will move up to it. So this is how I think. Tennessee, Pittsburgh, Buffalo, Kansas City. Yeah. Then we have Baltimore, Indy, no, Baltimore, I don't know, fuck, I don't know. Baltimore, fuck it, New York, then Indy, and then some other teams. Carolina will fall out, Minnesota will fall out, I'm catching up to y'all naked bitches. And Giants get out, I don't know, fuck. This video is 39 minutes, shit, bro. So... Standings right now, Detroit. I have thirty eight percent fans. Real life, the Bears have like three point. Well, if you saw my last video, shorts, Bears have three point nine million fans around the world. That's good. At least we're a top ten team for once. Packers won't be top ten team. Once Rodgers leave, y'all fucked. But um. That is all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a long video. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.